We are here uh, with Professor Galia Love from the Stony Brook State University of New York that was one of the speakers of the Lampedusa Dilemma Conference, the inaugural event of the UI Forum on Migration, Citizenship and Democracy. Galia Love, from your talk, it came out that rather than of a dilemma, we should probably talk about a trilemma. Can you tell us why? Yes, thank you so much. Yes, I, I think that in today's global world of uh, the heightened insecurity of migration, the perceptions that we see from the Lampedusa, what we really need to understand is that there are three cross interests at work with very different actors involved. There is, of course, the interest, the traditional interest of the, of the rights that are involved in migration. These are interests that are often uh, imposed by human rights activists, civil libertarians on one side. Uh, but there's also the interests that come from the economics that, all, that in many ways end up on the same equation of the rights uh, debate, but in fact, they are very much interested in the market expansion, um, certainly in a global economy, uh, which has to deal with mixed flows. Uh, but, but finally, one of the most dominant interests that has been more, more and more pervasive in the global era that we're looking at are the security interests. The security interests of the states of the individual European member states to protect their borders uh, on the one hand, but also the political interest behind that to, uh, to really juggle these interests that we need to remember is in effect the trilemma that liberal democracies are dealing with. And this is really the most critical aspect that I think we have to remember looking at the European uh, uh, context of migration in, and policy ramifications. That is that we are liberal democracies that have to deal and juggle and reconcile the trilemma uh, of the interests that are often working and competing forms. So it makes it very, very difficult to organize political debates. Uh, we find what uh, is often been referred to as a strange bedfellows. But in fact, what we have seen is the increasing ability, in many ways, for politicians to use this trilemma by escaping. And the way that they do this is by incorporating more and more actors, not at the political level, but outside of the state, so that in effect they can do both, all three interests. They can uh, monitor the market interests by allowing private actors to, in, in fact, to regulate as they wish. They can also reply to the protectionist aspects through surveillance, through third countries where they outsource migration, and certainly that they can uh, avoid and circumvent the uh, rights interests uh, by delegating outside and really uh, putting what we can see uh, the issue is outside of the liability and accountability of national uh, public scrutiny. So this is really a very innovative way, I believe, to reconcile the trilemma by, in effect, having these tri-level uh, uh, interests and shifting out uh, regulation. So this, this is really a broad perspective, but I think there's a lot of details that one has to pay attention to if we go beyond the sort of traditional uh, interests of just the state. <laughs>